Welcome to the Coding Interview Must Know series. Today, we're tackling one of the most common array questions, rotate array. Here's the problem. You're given an array of length n and an integer k. You need to rotate the array to the right by k steps. That means every element moves k positions to the right, and the elements at the end wrap around to the front. For example, if the array is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and k equals 3, after rotation, it becomes 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4. The last three elements move to the front. The simplest approach is to create a new array. For each element at index i, place it at i plus k mod n. This runs in o n time, but also uses o n extra space. In interviews, though, you'll often be asked to do it in place, using no extra space, and that's where the three-step reverse method comes in. Here's the trick. First, reverse the entire array, then reverse the first k elements. Finally, reverse the rest. Just three reversals, and the array is rotated to the right by k steps. Let's see it in action. After reversing the whole array, the last elements move to the front, but backward. Then we reverse the first three elements to fix their order. Finally, reverse the remaining four, and we get five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. The code's pretty simple, but here's an important detail. Always take k modulo n. If k is bigger than the array length, say k equals 10 and n equals 7, rotating 10 steps is really just the same as rotating 3. Then we define a simple reverse function that uses two pointers to swap elements. After that, we perform three reversals, first the whole array, then the first k elements, and finally the rest. That's it. In place rotation, O n time, O 1 space. Clean, efficient, and elegant. Exactly what interviewers love to see.